For the second round of the NCAA playoffs, North Central hits the road for the first time in four years to take on Wabash. Tyler Dickin and Jordan Tassio will have a tough task scoring against C.J. Gum and the Little Giant D. Gallardi Trophy finalist Peter Bulander ready to go. On the Cardinals' second offensive play, freshman Ryan Kent takes the jet sweep handoff and gets going, bobbing and weaving all the way for 20 yards to move the sticks. But three plays later, the Little Giants stiffen up against the running game. Nick Kukoc bobbles the pitch. A.J. Akinarabe makes the first hit. Cardinals forced a punt. On the Little Giants' second offensive play, it's the Cardinal D making the big play. Shane Durking picks off Tyler Burke, NCC in prime position. After a Wabash holding penalty on fourth down, Dickin goes to the air on second for Kyle Fedorowicz. The big tight end rumbles to the one. From there, it's Jordan Tassio time. The junior punches it in from one yard out, 7-0 Cardinals. Once the Little Giants get it back, they give it to Van Hunt. First, the speedy junior chews up 10 yards on second down. Then on the next play, Hunt gets it on the ground again, this time 13 yards and another first down. But that's as far as the Little Giants would go. On third down, James Robinson flushes Burke from the pocket, and he chucks it deep. But Josh McLeod is there, North Central football. Next Wabash possession, Cam Sobleski on to punt. The sophomore doesn't get much air under it, and that's a problem. Joe Antonacci takes control down the sideline. He crosses midfield, 47 yards to flip the field in favor of the Cardinals. To the second, the Cardinals trying to pick up a second, fourth down conversion of the series. Tassio makes it happen with this run. Then later in the series, Tassio gives to his backfield mate Kukoc. From 10 yards out, he ends the series in a good way to make it 14-0 NCC. in CC. Two Cardinal possessions later, it's Kukoc again. On first down, he bounces it outside after a couple of broken tackles. He's got some open space, 46 yards and all on the run. Now the Cards have it on the one-yard line. On fourth down, it's Tassio going straight up the gut. They're up 21 zip going into halftime. In the second, the Little Giants get the ball first and start moving it right away. On third and 11, Burke has no one to throw to, but that's okay. 24 yards later, Wabash has a first down. Later in the series, Burke goes to the air and Horn makes the grab for another one to move the sticks. On the very next play, the air attack gets the Little Giants on the board. Wes Shambly beats his defender and wins the race to the pylon 21-7 NCC. But back come the Cardinals on third down. Dickon hits Chad O'Kane on the hitch to move the chains. Two plays later, the same old song and dance Dickon to O'Kane again and another North Central first down. Then once the Cardinals are in the red zone, the ball goes to Kukoc. Looks like he stopped at the line, but the junior has other ideas. 19 yards later, he's in the end zone 28-7. To the fourth and the Little Giants have it back. On second down, Burke finds Shambly down the middle of the field for 35 yards and a first down. Now on fourth down, Wabash needs a spark and Burke finds Shambly once again. This time it's for 33 and a touchdown. Wabash within two scores. But back come the Cardinals. Jordan Tassio goes down the left sideline. 20 yards and the Cardinals look to be in business. But the turnover bug bites the visitors on first down. Tassio streaks right, but can't hold on to the football. Kyle Najar picks it up. Little giant football. And Wabash goes back to the air on second down. Burke hits Shambly on the quick out, 14 yards before he's forced out of bounds. Now third down, the Little Giants go back to the air. Burke down the sideline, wide open horn for 23 yards and a score. This is a one possession ball game. After a Cardinal punt, Little Giants need a play on fourth down and Burke provides it with his legs. After stepping up in the pocket, he has plenty of room. He needed 14 and he gets 16 first down Wabash. Another fourth down later in the series, Cardinal D moves early. Now on second from the 19, Burke finds Horn down the left side. He can't break the plane, but the Little Giants knocking on the door. On the ensuing play, he rolls out. Tight end Jeff Bell is there, one catch, but it's a big one, 28-27. Wabash going for two, Burke's pass right through the hands of James Krause, but Brady Young, Johnny on the spot, North Central trails by one. Last chance for the Cardinals now, Dickin avoids the rush and steps up. He tosses a prayer to O'Kane down the field. Austin Hodges seals it with the interception. North Central falls on the road, 29-28. Wabash moves on and will face Mount Union in the quarterfinals. Man, oh, man, a bunch of uh third down conversions, but they even made, I think, three long fourth down conversions. Those are hard to do. 
a drive going, I think we would have put the game away and uh, we had a fumble and he never fumbles. <laughs> so, you know, it was just not meant to be. I didn't want to go to overtime and, you know, they've been running the ball better than we had. And I thought they would have the advantage in overtime because of that. Uh, and then Tyler threw it to James and he tipped it to Brady just like we practice all the time. <laughs> it worked. So, uh, We'll take it, but uh, um, I thought uh, I thought that was a way for us to you know get play aggressive. We were just rolling, and we had it felt like we had so much momentum that we honestly I felt like we couldn't be stopped. And I mean that's just how we felt in the fourth quarter. And I had we had all the confidence in the world that we were going to score on that last drive. It feels like it feels like deja vu with uh, Redlands, and uh, you know we really wanted to revenge revenge that loss and, and you know show that we can overcome. <laughs> Uh, a you know second half, somewhat of a meltdown, and we uh, we tried our best and just you know, it wasn't enough today. We could be we could be back here. We, we will be back here. We we need to just work as a team, get stronger, faster. We we can do this. This is the sky's the limit for us right now. We just have to work hard in the off season. North Central finishes 2011 at 10 and 2. Undefeated Wabash moves on to play Mount Union in the quarterfinals. <laughs>